Hey kids, Brian Trauman here, Pez Through the Ages. Check out our Facebook page, YouTube channel. I want to show you some of the different cellos or mint in bags around the world. Uh, clearly not all of them, but there's a bunch of different stuff I'd like you to look for while you're out there. The first is going to be just this crystal clear cello. And in fact, the, the first will have a twist at the top uh, where they were actual bags. You'd insert the stuff and you'd just twist it and put it in the box. I don't have any of those. They're incredibly fragile and incredibly expensive. So if you've got those with a twist at the top, not a twist tie, just a twist the plastic and it stays, go ahead and keep those or sell them, make some money. Otherwise, you're gonna be looking for ones like this. This is the, uh, the original cello and that's what we call it, C-E-L-L-O, cellophane. And it'll have some candy packs, the dispenser, and likely an insert. They're also incredibly fragile, but you find some cool stuff. This one happens to be from Japan and has uh, the old Super Mint candies with some German stickers on them. I'll also point out that this is one of the few regulars that has an IMC on it. Uh, this, I don't even know why I'm showing this to you, but here it is again. There's more. There's some cool inserts to look for. Now, uh, don't be fooled. There are other clear cellophane packages that look a bit like this. They're taller, and they are uh, less crispy. They also have current dispensers in them. Anything 4.9 like these. These came out, uh, let's see, 2010. Richie Bolisky had these made by the Pez company, 2011. So you can easily find these out there for, uh, for a reasonable price, and they're fun to collect as well. One of the rare instances of clear packaging these days for Pez. That's about to go over the edge. Uh, the, let's see, the more common dispensers, uh, rare to find a rare thing in something like this. Typically you find it in red, green, or blue. This I'm just showing you because it's an error, but this is something, and there are different versions of this with different inserts, uh, but these are pretty common. Uh, go ahead and tear these open in most cases. This guy, I'll keep in the package because of that. This guy's missing his eyeballs, so I'll keep that. Um, there are also different colors. The Valentine's ones would come with pink or red at the top, and you can see that there are sheets or rolls of this stuff out there, and they just heat seal them. And so sometimes you get the other colors uh, bleeding onto this. Uh, keep in mind, people can open and reseal these, so watch for fraud. What else to show you here? Sometimes they're used for things like this. There's stickers on the outside of the bag for certain promotions. Sticker on the dispenser inside. This may have been resealed. Certainly looks like it. By the Hertz Company, or the co or, sorry, Avis, or the company doing the promotion for it. There are also these where there's no sticker in the bag, but there is a sticker on the bag itself. This is the only of the baseball promotion dispensers where, where you find that sticker on the outside of the bag. Uh, open this guy up and he's just a 50 cent Homer Simpson, uh, but leave it in the package and we're talking more like 15 or so. So those are the more common ones. Uh, there are also clear packages and other packaging that's uh, done by third parties. This one by the FX company, they bought the hands, they printed it themselves, packaged it with an insert, and sealed it in just like a kind of a regular heat sealed Ziploc bag, similar here for this earlier version of an FX dispenser. Oh, the price tag on it. There are also ones created by our uh, common, uh, sorry, our, our colleagues, our friends. This one by Jamie Jones and Cliff Lee, the first Pez head of the year done for the Pez car. We'll do that in a different story. This feels nice and smooth underneath. Did they sand down the dispenser? Anyhow, uh, now, off to some of the cooler European packaging. This yellow one made in Europe for distribution worldwide, except for the United States. It's got the multi-language candy packs. And if we flip it over, you can see they're all going to have this down here made in Austria. This one happens to be for sale in Greece and Cyprus. So take a look for the languages. It lets you know where things were, um, for where they were destined. And there's some neat inserts in these. Uh, you get these halo packs. 
This is the pink, blue, and yellow, and kind of a white halo around the Pez logo. You get some cool stuff in here. This is a, a Merry Music Maker with a Japanese um, language. There's other languages on the other side of this candy. And uh, removable eyes on this whistle. Flip this guy over, and you can see this one was destined for Australia, New South Wales. Uh, made in Austria for Ljubljana, which is in Slovenia, and Destin for Australia. Similar with this frog. But there are others. Here's the same pack again with a three-piece no-foot witch and the rarer blue multi-flavor candy. This one sold in a lot of countries. Uh, Australia, Canada, Great Britain, Ireland, New Zealand, Hong Kong, Thailand, Turkey, Australia. Uh, yeah, and again, made in Yugoslavia. Neat insert, and we find the same thing here on the lamb. But then you've got others, same packaging, and it's a sticker on the outside. You see this sticker, you're going to want to get it, because it's going to have the purple or the pink stem Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in there, which takes it from the 56 and adds another 8 or 16 dispensers to this. This one has a cool insert where you can order a hat and some other stuff. This is from Czechoslovakia. These guys, we're in a different packaging now, so we've done the pink, blue, and yellow with the halo. This is a crispier package with a darker pink, blue, and yellow. No real halo, just a white rectangle around it. And, you know, mine happened to be some of the Nintendo characters and then Icy or Barney, and all of them are Barcelona. So these were sold in Spain imported from, does it say? It's gonna be Austria or Slovenia. And uh, no insert, no insert in these. That's interesting too, Barcelona. And then lastly, just to show you what we're looking at these days is this blue packaging, the branding is pretty consistent. Uh, candy made in the USA, Pez.com. This is the common stuff. This is what you're gonna find in the US today. So if this is all you've got, there's some other things for you to look for. I hope you have fun looking for them. Let me know if you find any of those twist tops.